Yeah, hello again folks. Yeah, I've just been uh, finishing off on this prototype project for a client of mine. It's a 13 amp socket that can be controlled over the internet. Yeah, I think it needs to randomly randomly switch in a circuit um, whenever he pleases, wherever he is on the face of the earth. He did uh, start from one of the uh, consumer types that you can buy um, these web control sockets, but he was burning it out. Um, the load that he's um, got attached to it is a bit too much for the uh, ones that you can buy off the shelf from, looks like, um, you know, Maplins or something like that. Anyway, let's have a look and uh, just explain how it works. Right, because it's uh, just a prototype I had to throw together quickly, I just thought I'd um, throw in an Adreno with an Evernet. Um, shield there. Um, the only work really for me was the uh, shield on the top, just a relay shield, really the rest of it sort of pick off the shelf. Um, if the customer's happy with it I will place it on a single PCB rather than having uh, all the Arduino stuff in there. Anyway I've got it going. That's uh, one good thing about the Arduinos. I know some engineers do diss them, saying it's a bit of a cop out, but to get something done quickly, it works. So let's have a look. Yeah, so we um, you notice I've got two supplies there. I've got a five volt supply supplying the Arduino, and the twelve volt supply on the twelve volt rail um, for the um, coils of the uh, relays there. Originally I did just use a single 12 volt um, going straight into the, uh, the jack on the, um, the Adreno but the old um, voltage regulators are getting a bit too warm for my liking so I thought I'd just do a separate supply for it, simple enough. So from there we could just go into the big contactor there um, to those relays switching that contact. There's a snubber circuit there just to stop the feedback going into the Adreno and blowing that up. Um, like I said most of the work was just for the um, that, that uh, relay um, PCB circuit there and the, the, so the software I suppose because um, it's web, web based I have to do a bit of HTML and um, CSS and all that kind of stuff but uh, other than that, right, I'll show the interface on the computer and we'll switch it in. It's a very simple interface, like the person I'm doing it for, he's uh, not very computer literate and he just wants things, basically he just wants to push one button, that's it, just to switch it on. Uh, I don't know if you noticed there uh, that I have um, actually got six channels there, but I've only got two populated at the moment. Obviously because I only need one, but because I had the parts lying about, I just thought I'd do it anyway. So, and so goes for the, the interface on the computer as well. I've got six channels there, but we only need channel three. So, basically just switch it in. That's the contact switched in. And switch it out. You know, simple as that. At the moment, I've got it just on my local area network here, but it's easy enough to set up this one. Um, Wide area networks, just a matter of you can use a static IP uh, port forwarding or just use a dynamic IP and just update every 21 days or so whenever your IP is updated. And that's it, really. I suppose it would be a good project for all you Arduino fans out there, but I wouldn't advise doing it unless you know what you're doing because again, we are working with 230 volt UK voltage. Other than that, you could, you know, you've got six channels there, you know, you can switch in AC, DC. I think AC, uh, with the relays I'm using, I think it's AC up to 8 amps. And DC, oh, I don't know, I need to look at that. It's probably going to be, uh, I don't know, just going to look at the sides. I can't see. Yeah, so there you go. You should be happy with it. It's quite simple. All he's got to do is... Plug his piece of machinery in, switch it on and off whenever he pleases. Obviously I'll set up his, um, you know, so he's got access to it. 
I need to look at that anyway, yeah, anyway, I'll show the front quick. Yeah, it's just, uh, it's more industrial, I'd have thought, than your consumer kind of thing. It's not very pretty. Oh, I forgot to mention, there's the uh, Cat5 cable just going into the side and just goes into your hub. But, mm, I suppose, it, it is quite portable. I suppose it is, you are quite limited by... Cat 5 cable, there's nothing, especially if you're going to use your Arduino, there's nothing stopping you putting the a wireless shield on top of it and um, linking it that way. But other than that, it's uh, quite, like I said, it's only a prototype. Like I said, the wiring is a mess, but it's just, you can see that, are you? So. <laughs> So there you go, I enjoyed that and uh, any questions give me a shout and uh, I'll try to answer your questions, thank you.